All right, Skip. I just boarded one of the trucks in the caravan. These convoys raid civilian outposts under Ripjaw's orders and steal their resources. I'll see if I can find anything useful to get us to Ripjaw. Good luck and be careful. Some of Ripjaw's strongest warriors might be on board. Hey, what's the strangely clothed ape doing here? I'll go alert the others. Battle. They probably have no love for mammals. This is a Mega Man reference, I think. Really? This level? Feels oh. like it. I almost think they based this world off of, well, we were just discussing Mad Max a couple episodes ago, probably. Yeah. I... What do they call it? It was... Convoy? It was like oil punk or... Oh, diesel punk. Diesel punk. The people are using rundown old cars and trucks and navigating wastelands. Fighting over remaining resources. I don't think I'm even going to really care too much about the crystals. I'll get them if they're obvious. Mm -hmm. Like that one's pretty obvious. Yep. Okay. But yeah, there's a, uh... I... Uh, I want to play through the Mega Man games at some point. But we got to do it when my hand's feeling especially good. These cars are carrying so many boxes. It's from their raids. They must have stolen supplies on, from many settlements. It makes me wonder why the... What was it? Mortal Engines movie did so bad? I suppose we'll have to see it when it is available to rent. Because that was about, what, humans making their cities into vehicles? Seemed rather wild. It seems wild. I don't know how to think about movies like that. Usually... <laughs> well, they're, it was also derived from a book series. So adapted, I should say. It was actually interesting. I know that we were talking about Annihilation earlier, but just how vastly different the movie was from the book. Yeah. That was tricky. They called it a plane. I don't know, it seems pretty fancy to me. <laughs> it's actually kind of amusing. Mm -hmm. So they have to be stealing them from other worlds, right? Probably, yeah. We... We... You attempted. I do failed. One of the other things I'm noticing about this game is there's no difficulty curve. Yeah, you're right. Which is probably why the whole leveling system is means nothing. Well, it's also how you can choose to do whatever world in what order you please. Hmm. Feels like I'm supposed to be able to get into the plane somehow. You know? Mm hmm Might just also be a flat platform to work on. Yeah, it just looks like a place that you'd actually put loot bits in. Unless it's that plane hatch, but no. I guess I can check. It's not something you can stand on. No, I can't, right? I can't get through that. There we go. We. You get the punch. <laughs> you get the kick. Get out of here. I'm a little disappointed I can't do my air hit. Yeah, since I want to write more believable, I, I suppose I shouldn't say believable, but uh, somewhat scientifically oh, accurate sci fantasy stuff. When it comes to crafting various alien races that exhibit, say, traits of an existing creature, so let's go say a reptilian race, obviously you should look into reptiles and such. Uh, I was noticing that. I mean, you know how reptiles are cold-blooded, only have three chambers to their heart, etc., right? 
supposedly that's a pretty hefty impediment for their endurance. Yeah. Yeah, reptiles are, are not good distance runners. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about, you know, for creative liberties, do you avoid that by having their physiology be something else? Or because you're making the reptilian, do you have to follow all the laws of what I mean, makes a reptile it, a reptile? It could be like... I mean, that could actually be, like, a major plot point for the character of the race. Mm -hmm. That they're... They're... They might be strong, warlike, or whatever, but get them in a contracted battle and they're... They're... Or, not contracted, uh, protracted battle. And they're utterly useless. You know, they just don't last. Mm-hmm. Kind of the same with amphibious or aquatic species and lack of liquid or humidity and yeah. you stop chucking those wrenches not appreciated yeah I'm just ignoring crystals at this point yeah I'm sorry I'm yawning so much it's just we've been playing this for six or seven hours now yep I mean it is it is about time we finish this hopefully the last level is not something considerable. Because, yeah, for lucky, it'll just be final confrontation. Hello, Dino Dummy. Get out of here. Oh. oh. For a second, I thought I'd, um. For a second, I thought I'd, like, actually destroyed the platform, and I was like, that's cool. Mm hmm. I'd like to play more games where you can just do that. Ow. He interrupted me. So, Shell. Yeah? Make up a superhero for me. What? Yeah. So, you were telling me about your character that was, like, possessed by spirits that was totally not inspired by Shaman King. Hey! Uh, earlier. They were bizarre alien entity spirit things. They weren't human ghosts. Eh. Ghosts, schmosts, human, human ghosts, alien ghosts, ghosts of future past, <laughs> ghost of alien past. So seriously though, make up a, whoops. Well, you said you always preferred self-styling characters, as in- No, 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 you're not, oh, oh, the green one just bailed on me. I didn't know it would do that. Really? You want me to make a superhero for you? Nah. I mean, what are, what are we going to talk about here? Well... You're getting tired, so I'm giving you a topic. It's easier with the prompt, no? No, it is, but it would be nice if you offered something too. Okay. Even though you are doing the brunt work of actually playing the game. So I'm trying to think. I. Mm. Okay. Start with power set. Basic power. Okay. The problem is that basic power will be like the defining feature. That, that's one thing I've noticed. There are a lot of characters that have one power, and it's only really useful for, say, a couple situations. And then there's characters that have some kind of theme or trait that encompasses a number of different abilities. And I think that they're more versatile because they do have more to them. But... Hmm... You're stuck on this, aren't you? It's oh. because I am so tired. Oh, it's the map. Oh, finally, a map. Phew. That was too many dinosaurs. Let's see what they were protecting so fiercely. Abstract art. Unless it's a map or something, yeah. Is this some kind of art? I 
don't know why they'd care so much about abstract art. I guess it must be important. So, Horrible. My, my issue is I don't I want to avoid all the obvious ones. I want to avoid strength. I want to avoid avoid telekinesis, elemental manipulation, um speed. I mean, I think those are fine if handled well. But it's also one of those things where those should be in addition to the main theme as opposed to something that is the sole core of their skill set. True. Hmm. This is hard. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know. Now that I think about it, it would be really cool if there was an actual ghost superhero. You mean like an actual just dead person that's a superhero? Have you ever heard of that? Uh, we were just talking about ghosts no. and how ghosts have to possess okay, people. So, but what about a ghost that's actually a hero? Okay, so what would their power set be? Full possession or... What's the crater I'm seeing to the left? A meteor hit Reptarius some 200 years ago. It's what turned it into a wasteland. Mm, that's what those spiky rock formations are for. Yep. Interesting. Okay, so... Yeah, obviously they can possess people, and when they do so, they can, say, glean their memories and other really cool things. Um, become invisible. Because, you know, that's- oh! Zara, the caravan is approaching a civilian settlement. They're going to raid it! Not if I stop them first. These cars in the lead are bigger. Maybe if I tamper with it- wait, uh, uh, more explosions incoming! I am confused. Okay, so they can read people's minds that they possessed, and... Take tangible form that way. Okay. Um, they're invisible unless they want to be seen. Uh, they can pass through walls. I mean, that's a cool one, too. Uh, fly. Whoops. What the? That was weird. Okay. So, for starters, backstory. How'd they die? Well, if you think someone became a superhero, they had to have some unfinished business as a, say, spirit. So, I, oddly enough, it would almost be like, instead of Batman's parents just dying and him taking up the mantle of Batman, to fight evil, it was like his, like, you know, the dead father or something instead. You know, someone who was murdered or wronged. Okay. Oh, would it be like some kind of weird, um... Oh, what's that called? That was... Somebody reminds me. There was... It was a... It was Flashpoint. That's what it was. What's Flashpoint? Uh, Flashpoint is when the Flash somehow ends up in an alternate reality, uh, where every everything kind of sucks, and I think he was like trying to go see his mom or who knows what. And what okay. happens in it? Um, so it it has nothing to do with a ghost necessarily. Uh, but the entire point of it is, instead of, uh, the Waynes dying, it's Bruce himself that dies. And his mother turns into the Joker and his father turns into Batman. Oh, uh, okay. Well, then who actually killed Bruce Wayne? The, the just random mugger. Oh, so they didn't do the whole the Joker was the mugger thing? No. Because obviously they have the... No, usually it's just some unassociated guy. I thought the movies actually handled it pretty well. Well, um, in the Jack Nicholson movie, the I think the oldest live-action movie that wasn't the Adam West series, 
you know, Michael Keaton, they had had it that, I suppose, spoilers, the Joker was the, the thug all along. Yeah. And I didn't like that. I, I like it much better that, you know, the Joker is just some random guy that is just decided to torture. Yeah. Uh, some random guy that's just decided to torture Batman because he sees that. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, so Flash goes back in time to save his mother and screws everything up. Mm hmm. That's what happens with time travel. I never like time travel in anything. Yep. Uh, but so like, if it was kind of like that situation where, uh, the, the character becomes the hero ghost almost, but their parents maybe end up being, like, losing it too. Maybe? Well... Because, like, who would be- who would be the villainous force? How do you even stop a ghost person? Apart from putting them up against the Ghostbusters. Or you'd have to be up against other spirits, too. Like, worse ones. Yeah. And, like... And maybe creatures from myth that normal humans can't interact with or see. Let's see, there's also somebody called Dead Man, which is a DC hero character. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and I suppose on another level, you have that Johann Strauss character. So I thought he was just a guy that turned himself into ectoplasm, and then he has to inhabit suits. For yeah, other I think people. he. Well, no, he was a ghost. He was straight up a dude that died at uh, some point, if I rem remember right. I just, you know, some reason he was still around. I thought. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen any. I'm out of Hellboy. I'm looking forward to the new Hellboy movie. It might be good. I hope it's good. Is it a movie or is it a television series? I forgot. I can't really imagine another Hellboy other than Ron Perlman. So we're gonna I, have to I see. I can, honestly. Okay. Ron Perlman's a, a decent actor, but he's not like... He's just known for... He's not... He was a good monsters. choice. But he wasn't a... Uh, like Robert Downey Jr., for example. Like I straight up can't rem uh, can't imagine Iron Man without Robert Downey Jr. Mm -hmm. Like that would be a tough replacement. I think part of it is characters have to wear so much makeup to be well. People have to wear so, so much makeup to be Hellboy. That yeah, they so it's a little easier. Mm -hmm. Zaro, what was that noise? Are you hurt? Are you okay? I'm fine, Skip. Don't worry. I just blew up the lead car's engine. These guys won't be terrorizing for a while. Blew up? In the future, can you keep explosions to a minimum? I had to do it, Skip. They are going to hurt civilians. I'll be back to HQ in a blink. Go by the comics of Batman. Batman made Joker. Batman's the only one that Joker couldn't get a laugh out of him. Yep. The machine is finally ready. As soon as everyone is in place, the end can finally begin. Overkill status update. My crew is gathered and set to leave at your command. The goo monsters the doctor brought are caged and ready to be released. And the seven clans robots just stand there, silent. I don't completely trust them, but you're the boss. You know Overkill. This is It's kind of ironic. I used to feel guilty about this plan, about destroying Rift. But they've helped me get over that. You see, as far as Rift is concerned, None of these dimensions really matter. There's so many, there's always alternates. Once I could see things their twisted way, the guilt of wiping an entire universe from existence started to melt away. After all, wiping one dimension really isn't much different diff uh, isn't much different than letting it wither away. It's merciful, really. Zapping Rift out of existence might seem harsh, but it's not like I'm murdering people. They'll just cease to exist. The only difference here, there's only one Rift. Rift will pay for what it did to me. To us! I think I was getting too close with the lizard's voice and... Mm -hmm. Oh well. That's interesting. 
Okay, right. We gotta go here. We finally have a map. What happens if I compare these pieces of Reptarian abstract art with the Reptarian map? Hmm. <gasps> they line up. This isn't abstract art. It's a road map. That's what the caravan had. Or why the caravan had it. Everything matches, except this red part here. That must be Ripjaw's den. Now I know where to find him. Well, let's go beat this game. Woohoo! You're not gonna talk with anyone else? Don't you have to hand in stuff? Or oh, right, know? we have to go talk to... I guess we can look around. Sorry. I am I am pushing uh, towards an ending if I can, just because. And it looks like we've pretty, mix, pretty much exhausted all dialogue. At least until we hit the next section, which is finding out the culprit. Mm-hmm. I was hoping we'd get more clues, though. So, like, we could maybe figure it out in advance, as opposed to just wild guessing. You know? Yeah, that's true. Based on character clues. Because after we dealt with the, uh... With the Thunderdome, we had some information, you know, who went there. But I guess we kind of learned about the... Well, the goo one, we found out that Freya was behind the goo. Yeah, but no clues about everybody we were around. Oh, well. Weapons that Ripjaw has smuggled from other Earths are strong evidence for his crimes. And I see you've also figured out his secret hideout. Good job, Sinclair. It's all solid. Here's an arrest warrant for Ripjaw. Thanks, Commissioner. I've seen enough of Ripjaw's gang's raids. I'll be happy to stop him. Be careful, Sinclair. According to our, all of our sources, Ripjaw is a formidable fighter. Arresting him may not be easy. Yeah. He sounds like someone who'll try to put up a fight, but I'll do my best anyway. Man, that is one of my existential horror thoughts. Hmm? The idea of just like, su suddenly and almost instantaneously not existing. Like, it's not something to worry about. It actually seems like there's something I up mean, there. I mean, isn't that what death is? Kind of? Like, death, generally, you kind of know what's coming, sort of. But, like, you know, the idea of this guy coming along to, like, just destroy a whole universe? Or, like, a planet or something like that. That reminds me. What was... Oh, it was when we were watching Voltron and they were just cutting universes. Yeah. And just, like, the idea of just, like... That was another situation of someone yeah. wanting to bring something back. Yeah, there's family. a lot of these. The whole, like different dimensions and I'll get them back that way because huh. I suppose it's it's a little bit it's so much messier though it's less messy physically than necromancy though yeah because this way it all works out you know you can find your loved ones where like I died instead or something mm -hmm. that's a commonish trend and it's a decent solution, too. Kind of happened in Doctor Who and some other things, too. It's it's a way for you to have a sympathetic villain. It's just like, you know, I've lost what I loved, so I'm, go I'm going to... Take it back. To take it back, no matter who I hurt in the process. Ripjaw's lair. It took us a while to find it, but I'm finally here. It's great that you learned about the map and found the smuggled weapons. Now we only need to rescue it, or arrest him. We'll put an end to his days of terrorizing Reptaria, and figure out what he has to do with Suspect X. Be careful, he's big and dangerous. <laughs> I've already dealt with many Reptarians. What's one more? But this guy is huge and buff. And be huger and buffer than me. Huh, that That's works. That's cool. It dragged you through almost. Get out of here. Bit. So you chucked him. He got hit by those pillars and then fell into lava.
Oh no. Okay, we're good. Nope. Oh. We were good. And then we very much weren't. But nah. There's been an awful lot of villains with deceased family members that they try to resurrect with dimensional... I don't know, manipulation as opposed to necromancy or reincarnation or other weird methods. Yeah. Because there are also the villains that they, you know, had a wife or something and she died. But, oh, lo and behold, the, you know, hero's younger sister or love interest or someone somehow has a compatible body that will be able to house the spirit of their fallen, you That's know, yeah. That's a common one, too. Yeah, that's a pretty weird common one. Oh, this guy knocks the ground. I was wondering about that. He, like, slams his tail on the ground and it actually hurts you. I was wondering about that. Okay. I I can't help but see faces on all of their crates. They are they do have cute little faces now, know, now like, that you mention them. They're like, don't mind us, we're just here. <laughs> we really like magnets, it's the only way we get around. Bye. <laughs> Alright, uh let's see. Can't touch this. Party popper. Let's switch this out for heavy hitter. This place seems like it has a decent amount of combat. Oh, magnet. Not sure if we have more. Okay, so ghost ghost character is straight up just a ghost. Yeah. What else is about them? Like, what is what is their arc? Because honestly, like, I'm sick of superhero stories to some degree that uh, don't have like a beginning, a middle, and an end. So what would what would what would ghost protagonists? like, beginning, middle, and end be? Would it be, like, Casper's situation, where they're trying to, uh, get a body back? Or yeah. solve their mur murder and then pass away peacefully-ish? Um, there would probably be an arc about wanting to have a physical form, but they realize that in order to do so, they would have to take someone else's, or that by doing so... It's it's not proper or complete. Like it oh, starts see. to disintegrate around them or something. Was wasn't that straight up like? Uh, what was that vampire werewolf show that you were watching recently? Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, they're so in that show. It, it's kind of an interesting thing about a a vampire, a werewolf, and a ghost are roommates in a house. And the reason why the ghost is there is because she died in the house. It was actually her and her fiance's house. And at first she has amnesia and is trying to regain her memories and like realize why she's there. And because vampires and werewolves can see ghosts, uh, when they stay there, they're, they're just a good fit. So she's able to converse with them and everything. And yeah, there was a section where she really wanted to have her life back. She thought it was robbed from her. Um, and there was like a witch that could give her actually her old body back, in fact. Um, granted, it was pretty badly decayed, but somehow she was able to like vivify it. And part of the ritual involved, you know, taking someone else's heart and a bunch of weird stuff. And fortunately, they had been fighting off werewolves at the time and they'd used one of their hearts, but you know, that caused other issues down the line and it turned out the witch wasn't really sincere in what the full details of their dear uh, deal entailed and stuff like that. And there's also one of those stipulations of no one from your former life can see you. Because I don't know if that would cause them to die as well or what it was. It was all part of this weird curse. But she found out after a while that, yeah, her body was starting to decay again.
Okay, so ghost might be a little bit too complicated. <laughs> okay, let's let's try for something more simple. Cause like I like the idea of ghost, but like that's like s straight up like uh, extreme telekinesis as a power set. It's like it's a little bit too too all purposey. Yeah. You want something more specific? Maybe not more specific, but like I mean. I feel like ghost powers would be decent, but I almost feel like it should just be, like, a shadow cat situation. Where, like... Because the problem with the ghost is... Oh, hi. He oh. exists. Yeah. You! Whoa. He's huge. You're the rift agent the boss told me about. Yes, that's me. I'm here to put an end to the violence your gang is spreading throughout Reptaria. Interesting words coming from someone who's been attacking my loyal men. Ripjaw, you are the one who has been raiding and attacking innocent people. Weaklings, I am protecting reptarians by making sure they're strong enough to survive this wasteland. You are under arrest for smuggling weapons from other dimensions, which is illegal according to Rift Regulation number 3. Point curse Rift and curse you too. You think you can arrest me? Don't you understand? I said you're under arrest. Surrender or... Don't you understand? I'm going to eat you! I'm gonna need some ice cream after this. <laughs> Does he have a gimmick? cyborg leg? It looks like it. Is this just like a regular fight? Looks like it. I mean, you had a weird battle where you weren't necessarily doing direct damage, you were just taking away the orbs of power. And then you had another one where it was a kind of structured beatdown. Like, you're still beating down the robot man. Dang it. You're down to half health, about. Yeah, I can always heal myself when, when I need to. It's dinner time! Burn the leap! Whoa. Let's see if you can avoid this! <laughs> That's awesome. The whole... They throw up in her projectile at you and you send it right back at him. I've had enough of you, Agent! Thank you for those bombs. I kind of need them. Oh, that was quick. I honestly thought he was going to be a Wizard of Oz situation where he's not actually the real villain. Well. Oh. That was quick. Reptaria! Woo! Oh, my head! Ugh. I'm gonna need a shower after this. Zara, how'd it go? Skip, Ripjaw's down. He's ready for extraction. That's good news. I was uh, worried for you. Melina has a cell ready for him. Welcome. Hmm. What's this? Someone's diary. Most of it seems damaged. Maybe from our battle. You can only read some of the latest pages. Another failed attempt to get the medical uh, get the medicalist while well, Dr. Sam Squatch was doing research on the extraverse. Unfortunately, the new security system that Ada Lovepaws installed triggered the alarm and I had to leave before anyone came. <gasps> this diary belongs to Suspect X. This is a big find. So they mentioned Squatch and Ada. And Ada. So they're safe. So we should probably talk to them, maybe. Ripjaws definitely been working with Suspect X, and now I have evidence of it. And if Suspect X was avoiding Sam and thwarted by Ada, then neither of them is Suspect X. Oh, that's a relief. Without Ripjaw's leadership, the gangs will surely fall apart. Raiding will definitely be harder. But are they really happy? In a world like this, barren land, Fewer resources every day. 
there are many uninhabited Earths bountiful with fertile land and resources. We should offer Reptarians a chance to move out to one of those. I know Rift regulations don't allow for that, but maybe that's something we can change. 